Hi, Dave, my Max Borland. This is a very special edition of Muscle Beats TV brought to you by DigitalMuscle.com. And I'm here with the three-time Olympia fitness champion, Oksana Grishina. Oksana, welcome back to the show. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm so nice to be here. And uh, thank you for having me. And I'm so happy to see my good friend, <laughs> Dave. It's been a long time from NPC West Coast, I right? Know, I know. Yes. It's been, uh, you've been so busy this year, it seems like. Um, you know, after the Arnold, you, you were busy doing your thing, you were traveling, you competed. And then the last time we got to see each other was w in June at Chris Minas' uh, and Lonnie Tipper's West Coast Classic, which your performance with the guys was <laughs> unbelievable, by the way. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And Michael Jackson as well. That's right. Yeah, Michael Jackson. Yeah, it was great show. And i just very thankful to Chris Mines, uh, my good friend and one of the best promoter of the show in California for this opportunity. And it was, uh, we had so much fun and if you miss it you miss a lot <laughs> <laughs> it's still around on social media and you get to look it up yeah. at you guys because it was unbelievable and um you're gonna you're not done working with chris you actually are going to be uh, some of your show part of the Ferrigno legacy correct yes uh i promote my second og paul fitness classic and this uh, time we're gonna uh, be part of louis Ferrigno legacy which is so excited and i'm just very happy because I want, you know, to connect uh, pole fitness with fitness and bodybuilding world just to make it um, uh, professional, like professional league, I don't know. Uh, so girls not just doing their incredible movements on pool, but they also look fit and look great on the stage. So, and yeah, that's my goal and we so excited to be part of Louis Ferrigno Legacy this year. Wow, um, Chris really has the, the gift of uh, teaming up with, with the great champion, obviously yourself and Lou Ferrigno and, and Lonnie Tipper. He's really good at picking good teams, don't you think? A wonderful yeah. team. First, fast respond. Yeah. It's just like for second and very organized. And I just love to work uh, with people who are very disciplined, organized yeah. and serious about everything we do. And yeah, I'm just, I'm blessed to find these people and have these friends and w work with them. It's just amazing. <laughs> Oksana, I'm really glad we get to do this today. Um, and I was like telling myself, oh, the Olympias, first it was, you know, we're 12 weeks out and 10 weeks out and six weeks out. I was like, oh my God, we're four weeks out. I got to go see Oksana because <laughs> this is a very special Olympia for you. This is a very special year. And I want you to tell me why it's so special. Uh, well, every year Olympia is special for me. And uh, to me, Olympia show is more than just competition. It's an opportunity uh, to do what we love to do and uh, perform on stage and front of huge audience. And I'm just, I'm just blessed to have this opportunity. And this year is, um, uh, I just, <laughs> I'm tired to tell everyone, you no, know, because it's important. people keep asking because this is my last year uh, and. Uh, Yes, I know it's hard uh, for my fans and so many people telling me, why are you telling this now? Because it may affect on your fan base, it may affect on your sponsor contract. Guys, I'm, I'm not afraid of challenge or changes because I have done in, I have... I have started my life through scratch so many times and I know what it is and uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's just the feeling which I catch and I'm so glad I catch, I caught this feeling because so many champs I'm sure caught this feeling too, but you know, when mm, it's hard, everyone wants more, 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 you know, I just want to give others opportunity to reach their goals and feel what I felt and feel what I feel and uh, it's um, yeah I don't know it just when you can't make it you're trying to hold it and then you try and then you lose it yeah. so and I'm glad I didn't go too far, too far yes and uh, this is just oh great oh moment right. to you know to give others opportunity and I'll be always around to help you with this and um, my heart belongs to fitness, you know this, and I, be, I always will be here for you guys, and I still will continue to perform and impress you. Yeah, but uh, this is uh, just the time. 
Yeah, but <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> going to tell this because <laughs> right now I'm focused on my fight for Olympia and it's just, you know, the, I, I'm trying to avoid all these uh, thoughts in from my head. Mm -hmm. It's just because I'm focused to do my best to fight with myself, do great performance for you guys and show my best conditions because, you know, when you're training through the years, your body is respond well mm -hmm. and it just uh, muscles getting mature yeah. and it's incredible, you know, and that's so I'm focused on Olympia. <laughs> okay. Well, let's talk about this new Olympia and, and obviously, um, not obviously, usually you choose one routine per year that you start at the Arnold, obviously, and uh, bring it all the way up to the Olympia. But this year you decided not to do that. Tell me why the change this year. Uh, yes, I was planning to do uh, my serial performance at the Olympia and uh, thanks Robert Chang because he sent me a piece of carpet to try because I was it was my goal. Right. But there was some issues. Um, it's work. It works fine on carpet, and we make it work with my coach. But when I put little uh, oil on the carpet, it's just it didn't work out. Because guys, uh, I'm sure sear performers will understand me. Sear sear wheel doesn't work on carpet, doesn't work on water, and doesn't work on oil. So I make it work at the Arnold on both <laughs> oil and carpet. Wow. <laughs> Which was, yeah, it was a huge risk. Um, and But I want to enjoy my routine. I want also enjoy myself and enjoy, make audience to enjoy my routine. That's why actually I'm very happy and glad that I got an opportunity to create new performance, which is, oh my God, so special to me. And it's just, I don't know, it's something, something, you will read my mind and my family will be an audience and oh, are they uh, coming this year for the olympia the last yes, one oh yes. they're gonna they come in from russia to see me compete for the first and oh my god time. Wow. <laughs> yes and uh, so this routine um i it's for you guys you will feel it and of course for my family and for everyone who's gonna come to watch yeah i uh sky Посвящаю. Dedicated. 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 Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm sure you get, I, I predict right now in a standing ovation. Remember when I told you that about Michael? <laughs> Again, standing ovation for your last routine. You know, you're right. I'm, I'm really sad to know this is going to be your last year, but the way you explain it and the reasons you gave for why this is your last year, I think are probably the best reason to retire. And, and I think you're so gracious and so uh selfless to be able to um leave the title for someone else's chance to have and um i mean most of the time people never want to go away away from the spotlight it's we want to try to keep a hold of it as long as we can and i mean if, if you feel like you've done enough and you've accomplished the goals you wanted to have and obviously i don't think anybody can beat you or could beat you at this moment so it's kind of great to go up on top right um well, it's amazing feelings, yes, when you're on top, absolutely. And uh, like I told you, it's very hard to say goodbye for champs, especially for champs, because um, I'm sure they not take it for granted, but this is very scary when they take it for granted. And, uh, you know, it just, I don't know, in fitness, I love all my fitness girls. they all incredible. And I just want to give chance to someone who love the sport as much as I do and who will work as as hard as I do you know to 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 take a lead and feel what it is you know and just enjoy this enjoy this opportunity well that's great but uh, I think you know what I think is going to happen is once you relinquish the title and you pass the torch to the next one next year if I'm the person getting the title, of course I would be so happy to have the title, but uh, in the inside I would also know, well, thank God Oksana retired, otherwise I wouldn't be the champion. <laughs> Which means that it leaves you in a good place because it's like you're undefeated champion and you retire as a champion. And people will always say, well, if, we, if, if, if Oksana were still competing, she'd still be a champion. <laughs> That's your legacy, I think.
um, actually the place to be, ch I mean, the, the place is always open. It was always open. And all girls have more potential than I do. And um, it's always open, you know, if you want it, if you sacrifice as much as I did. Um, it's always open. I know, that's easy to say. <laughs> but they still have to beat you. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, it's no, it's it. not easy. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm telling. It's not easy, but it's, it, it's open. Yeah. yeah, you can choose it, but that's the way you can choose. Yeah. Yes, it's hard to sacrifice and stop, you know, uh, just be close into your room and to your gym and just focus on only one thing all the time yes it is focal uh, it is hard but if you're ready for this yeah. you can be become a champ yeah. so tell me you say once you retire um you still want to uh, perform you still want to be involved in fitness and bodybuilding and you know with chris and all this thing anything else aside from that that you want to accomplish as for yourself as a person maybe as a mom? I don't know. Just any project <laughs> for the future? If it happens, it happens. Really? Uh, yes, I would love to have, you know, family because this is the general. Uh, I mean, that's why we live uh, for kids and uh, to give uh, your knowledge and everything what you have to someone who who like small you <laughs> yeah it will be awesome yes but uh you know i'm hard worker person and i know it's i can't help it <laughs> trust me sometimes uh, sometimes it's just um you know i cry from myself i'm like telling boris boris why i was born this way it's crazy i'm tired but i can't help it you yeah. know it's just i'm always getting some ideas and you know i like to work as choreographer with uh dancers yeah. with circus people i like to help them and it's just it's uh with fitness uh, yeah. girls uh, doesn't matter i just like to create and even show yeah. It's just, I think, uh, one of uh, Im interesting uh, for me to do in future, just create some great show. Wow. And, and, uh, <laughs> you would be a busy mom if you have kids. <laughs> yes, yes, I told to Boris, my kid will always be on me everywhere. It's Luckily, he's very helpful. Boris is very helpful, so you have a good husband to have kids with. I call him mom, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm oh. lucky, I'm lucky to have this wonderful yeah. guy yes and well i think you would make a great mom he would make a great dad i think you have i would love to have little oksana and boris running <laughs> around i think it'd be great we'll have to put them on camera if that happens but um i think the future is going to be bright for you and 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 i'm glad to know you'll still be around because i would really miss not seeing you or doing these interviews and just follow your next project it would be Absolutely. it would be great yes guys i'll be around and uh, you will see so many things from me coming don't worry <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep you busy to watch me. <laughs> 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 All right, that's it, you guys. It's Dave Manax uh, for uh, Muscle Beach TV with a reigning champ, three times Olympia champion, and ten times, you weren't telling me, Arnold Classic uh, Miss International Fitness Champion. That's unbelievable. Uh, we're only on, only counting the, the, the titles from, from Columbus, but really, there's ten. Yes, but right now, because of so many Arnolds, yeah. uh, of course, Arnold got me a, a little bit frustrated when I called, when he asked me how many Arnolds you won, I said four. He said, you didn't count other <laughs> Arnolds? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Like, yeah. Yes. I'm like, no, sorry. Okay, 10. He yeah. said, yes, because of course it's important. Right yeah. now, doesn't matter how many Arnolds you, if you want, you should yeah. be proud of it. Arnolds and Arnolds. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. It's Dave Man Max 6 with Oksana Grushina, and this was Muscle Beach TV, and we're out. Hey guys, we for, for Digital Muscle Media and I'm Oksana Grishina, three times Miss Fitness Olympia and we have special guest today, uh, Kagan Yalaman, who preparing right now for amateur, first amateur Olympia show in Las Vegas in four weeks. Kagan, how you feel right now? I feel great actually, so I have four weeks out to the show. I'm really excited because it's going to be the first time ever in the United States amateur Miss Olympia. And we never know who's going to show up on the stage. So I just do my homework, you know. I just try to enjoy the time. 
and you know let's see what happens what country you're gonna represent where are you from uh, actually I'm originally from Turkey but uh, I'm competing from the California you know as an NPC champion so of course my blood I do carry some Turkish blood but you know of course I compete here right now from California so I just like to present my best physique to the stage and this year I'm switching to classic physique so for many years I was doing the bodybuilding open division so just I like to try my chance you know if this you know new division fits on my body or not so many judges they told me your physique is very you know good for this new division I just like to try to give a shot so so for classic division uh, let me understand you do performance right performance yes. right yeah, exactly this is exact same just like bodybuilding we still have our you know posing routine like the same poses we have and differences just the posing trunks are a little longer like Arnold Schwarzenegger used to compete back in the day so but besides this everything is same to just, just judge you you know with the proportions symmetry like conditioning you know and uh, poses basically yeah. same. you know guys I just know this guy for so many years and I know one thing he loves bodybuilding and he huge fan of bodybuilding it's just crazy I have it's just and that's what important you know and I'm sure he gonna give his best because he go through a lot and he had a lot of struggles you know to be who he is now so and uh, yeah yeah basically yeah you you're a good friend of mine as well with Boris so I'm a big fan of yours because you're unbelievable queen of fitness and big respect to you we talk about you now yeah, I know, but I just like to give my respect to you as well. So, besides all the efforts, yes, I do give my all heart, you know. This is my passion, you know. It's my healthy lifestyle. I like to eat healthy, you know, try to help people. Also, I do personal training. I help a lot of people to reach their goals. So, once you love your job, you can help anybody. So, actually, I love it. So, also, you know, it affects my competition level as well. So let's see what it brings to the stage. He never missed any Olympia show uh, from la last years. Never yeah. any show. He was a g <laughs> VIP guest. Always was sitting front of audience and screaming for me. I I just know him. So, uh, it, it's just incredible, sweetheart guy. And uh, the most important, he loved the sport. As yeah, I know. So when you step on the stage, I have goosebumps all over. You hear me all the time. I scream your name, Grishina, Oksana. I tell all my friends, when this girl show up on stage, I tell everybody to cheer up for you because I know how hard you train. How I know what you're getting through. So as I said, I have a huge respect for you, what you've done for many years. You represent the fitness very well in IFBB. And you open so many doors for the new people who want to compete as a young generation. So you're a great role model. So. You Thank you. Biggest respect in I. Yeah, he just so real me here at the gym when I'm working out. It's not the smile, Oksana, guys. It's just so tough, <laughs> tough, tough girl. So and Khan, good luck to you at the Olympia show. I'm sure you're gonna do great, and I'm just so happy that this year uh, Olympia uh, doing amateur Olympia show where people coming from all over the world to try themselves so good luck thank you so much Oksana and thanks to our digital muscle media for having us